So we have two more questions to do here. Question G. Okay, question G. Yeah. So which is 7G? 7G. We have y equal to 9x squared minus 16. Okay, so uh, this time, of course, I have to say it first. If you have we have two situations actually. If you have y equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, then you need to do completing the square to find turning point. Eh? But in case where if you have y equal to ax squared plus c, eh, the, the second term, the bx term is not there. Eh? And then no need to do completing the square. Okay? No need to do completing the square for this form eh? because completing the square is considered done for this case uh, this one yes you need to do completing the square and this one no so these two questions at the end is the question where we are not going to do completing the square and I will come to that later in part 3 on how we handle it okay so let's start with the axis intercept again start from part 1 I start from x intercept We let y equal to 0, so we get 0 equal to 9x squared minus 16. Okay, then we factorize it. Uh, for this round, we can factorize it by using this formula. a squared minus b squared equal to a plus b a minus b. Uh, this formula. So, uh, okay, let's say I make it clearer first. I change it to uh, a difference of 2 square. So 3x square, 4 square. So I can change it to square minus with square. And then it is clearer to see that I can factorize it to a plus b, a minus b. So my a plus b is like this. And then my a minus b is like this. And then I let each factor equal to 0. I get minus 4 over 3. Then after that, 4 over 3. Okay, so I get the x intercepts. So these two are the x intercept. Okay, now the y intercept, I let x equal to 0. So I substitute 0 to the function given at the beginning. So I get this. This is the y intercept. Okay. Now the next step. Part 2. The axis of symmetry. x equal to minus b over 2a. So Let's look at the value of ABC here. So A is basically 9. B is 0 because the X term is not there. C is negative 16. So we get the ABC from here actually. So A is 9, B is the X term which is not here. So that's why it's 0. C is this one, negative 16. So we have ABC. And now we substitute into the axis of symmetry. Then we get minus 0 over 2, 9. Then we get 0. So axis of symmetry is on this line. x equal to 0. So axis of symmetry. Then part 3, turning point. So like what I say, we are not going to use completing the square anymore when the bx term is not there. The reason is because this is actually similar to the form after completing the square. Okay, let's say I purposely put in this way, uh, 9 x plus 0 square minus 16. So from here, you will realize 
this form is actually the form after completing the square. So where you have to get the x from here, you have to get the y from here. Okay, so x plus 0 equal to 0, x equal to 0. This one is where you get the y, y is minus 16. So 0 minus 16 is the turning point and it is a minimum point because our a, our a is 9, is a positive value meaning that smiling face and the minimum point is here so we have a minimum point minimum point yeah? 0 minus 16 okay then now we can sketch the graph ready so it seems like this is easier a bit because no need to do completing the square so let's see the information we need to use minimum point, we need to use axis of symmetry, we need to use y intercept and the x intercept. These two. Okay, so let's sketch the graph here. Yeah? So the minimum point is 0 minus 16. So somewhere here, 0 minus 16. Okay, so here, 0 minus 16. The x intercepts, as you can see, x intercept 4 over 3 at minus 4 over 3. So imagine if I draw a graph like that. So this is going to be minus 4 over 3, and this is going to be 4 over 3. Okay, so there are the x-intercept and uh, the y-intercept, right? The y-intercept minus 16 uh, is here. It's at the same time the minimum point. And then the axis of symmetry. Yeah, axis of symmetry is here. This line. Yeah. X equal to 0. Okay, so okay. let's say I draw a dotted line. So this is x equal to 0, the axis of symmetry. Okay, now one more, 7h, 7h, we have y equal to 4x squared minus 25. Okay, so this question is very similar to g. So first part, the x-intercept. So the x-intercept, we have to let y equal to 0. 4x squared minus 25 and after that we have to look at the same method as in here we have to use this formula we change it to something square minus something square like this okay so th for this case we change it to 2x squared minus 5 square then we have 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5. Okay, so 2x plus 5, 2x minus 5 is based on the formula a plus b, a minus b. It's based on that formula. Okay, then we let each bracket equal to 0. Each bracket equal to 0. And then we get 2x equal to minus 5 and we get two of this x value okay these are the x intercept okay two x values now for y intercept y intercept we let x equal to zero okay so we put zero into the function given at the beginning then we get negative 25. This is the y-intercept. Okay, so we have x-intercept, y-intercept, now axis of symmetry. So axis of symmetry, we use x equal to minus b over 2a. So I write down the a first. a is the first term. The first term which is from here, 4. 
B is 0, uh, the X term is missing, so B is 0, C is minus 25. Okay, so A is 4, B is 0, C is minus 25. So we do x equal to minus b over 2a, so we get 0. x equal to 0 is called the axis of symmetry. Now part 3, the turning point. So like what I mentioned before, when you have y equal to ax squared and no bx, straight away c, yeah, and then we can avoid completing the square. So y equal to 4 x squared minus 25. So again, why we can avoid completing the square? Because it is already in the form after completing the square. Imagine something square minus 25. Uh, it's already in that form. So you just let the bracket equal to 0. And this is the y. So with 0 and negative 25, this is actually the minimum point. Okay. Yeah, so again, minimum point because this is positive. So if positive, the graph is a smiling face graph. The minimum point is there. And now we can sketch the graph. 0 minus 25 then the axis intercept as you can see here minus 5 over 2 and 5 over 2 these two are the axis intercept and then the y intercept minus 25 which is at the same time the minimum point the axis of symmetry is this, x equal to 0, which is here, which is this vertical line, x equal to 0, okay, so label y, x, 0, okay, so we have done everything in question 7 then.